All right, <clears throat> Office Chef Life. I uh, haven't posted any pictures or videos or anything lately. I work nights, so, you know, the rest of the guys aren't here for me to show off for. So, I decided I was going to make uh, some kind of like deer sausage fritter things. Uh, this is deer sausage that I got from uh, my sister, Michelle, or, well, Beth, or whoever. Anyway, uh, some of our family members made this deer sausage, so I just sliced it up real thin and uh, just tossed it in the microwave for a minute just to make sure it was, you know, mostly cooked. And uh, so what I've done here is I've got the Grand's Flaky Layers uh, biscuits, the butter tasting ones. Here I've taken two biscuits and stretched them out and then another one stretched out. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some uh some applesauce and this you know this might sound weird if you're uh you're not much of a cook but trust me it's gonna be delicious i already taste tested one piece of it i'm just stretching this out a little bit it's kind of hard to do this all one-handed so a little bit of applesauce Probably better off doing this on the cutting board where I have a better surface to work on than a paper plate. All right, hold on a second. Send the phone down. Okay, this is definitely going to be a better surface. So, all right, there's that. We'll get some applesauce on the other one. Doesn't really matter how these are, you know, set out uniformly because you're going to be stretching it and stuff and putting it all together before you put it in the George Foreman grill, which is what I'm going to cook this on. Even though I've got a toaster oven, I could totally do that too, but I like the idea of the fried dough. All right, now a little bit of mustard. Not a lot, just enough to add just a little bit of flavor. All right. Now, deer sausage. Normally, I would probably only make one of these, but my girlfriend said, bring one of those home if that's what you make. So that's what I'm doing. Because I love her. So... Sorry for the shitty camera work here. I, uh, doing this one handed and kind of trying to watch what I'm doing. Now I'm deliberately leaving a little bit on the edge over here because I'm planning on folding that back a little bit, I think. And this is two sausages worth of sliced up sausage, so. You know, it makes uh, sense there for it to be, you know, enough for, um, one person having one sausage. All right, now, this is the part where I may end up needing both of my hands, but my goal is I'm going to fold this over, and I'm going to take this and stretch it out, and I'm going to seal all the edges. So, uh, yeah, let me see if maybe... Set my phone down. This is going to work. Probably not. Oh, that, that might work. Is this over? Yeah, you can see pretty well. All right. So, first thing I need to do is stretch the dough out this way a little bit. Oh, I'm also gonna add cheese. Forgot about that. So some Swiss cheese. Just tear it up to make it fit. Oh, 
All right, now for the other biscuit layer. Seal this side first. Stretch to make it that far and fold this over. Now it's all wet, doesn't want to stick to itself. Oh, that was poor planning on my part. Stick to yourself, fucker. Next one, I won't do that so much. Wipe some of this off. Stretch. Pull this over. I mean, I don't really actually need it all the way sealed, but I wanted it to be a little bit more pro looking than this, but it really doesn't matter as long as it tastes good. So I'll cut some slats in the top so it doesn't expand and explode inside there. cook them upside down that way got a better surface there the shit not wanting to seal over is kind of pissing me off well next time I do it I'll know better all right so there's that part now take the blade put a couple slots in them still have well, looks like cooking spray is gone that's all right I have butter we'll get out a little butter throw that directly into the foreman grill I wonder where the tree is for it. Well, fuck it. I'll just put a paper plate underneath it. A lot of butter is going to be kind of important here. Now, getting butter on the top is going to be kind of an interesting challenge. I think... Yep, I'm going to melt some butter to do that. Found the Foreman Grill drip pan in the dishwasher while doing that, so that's good. All right, it's hot in here, man.
right, we got this mostly melted. It's gonna be liquid and I'm just gonna pour it on top when I put them in there. So I'm gonna put them in there and I'll move the camera over so you can see what's going on. Got them in there. They are probably going to expand quite a bit. I may have overloaded it, but it's the first time I've done this, so I guess we'll find out together. Drizzling butter over the top. There's plenty of butter in there. Most of it's going to run out into the drip pan. But that's all right. Probably about halfway through, I'll pull some of that out, pour it right back over the top. I imagine this is going to swell up and open up pretty significantly. And I've got two biscuits left. Well, let's fucking bake them. I think these cook on 325. 350. <laughs> 360 is close enough. We'll heat that up while these are cooking, and then we'll throw these last two biscuits in there and eat those too. All right, well, I'm going to stop the video now because that's going to take a while, but uh, I'll take pictures when they're done, and we'll, uh, yeah, we'll update this post. So that's uh, Office Chef signing off.